What's up Madden 25 fans welcome to today's video guys and in today's video we're going to teach you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Now if you guys watched our last video on the Indianapolis Colts we talked about our three-handed rushing attack how we could possibly use the pistol trips um, and then some other formations that we could use uh, but today we're going to be talking about our man beater and uh, we've already talked about the split close and how we like to use that fullback inside of power O. Uh, and that's a really good running set. It's also a pretty good man beater uh, as well because you have the compression set. Uh, but what we're going to focus on today for our man beating formation is the shotgun bunch tight end. And I think this is one of the better, uh, more unique formations in the, in the game this year. So uh, the play that we're going to be using to beat man to man defense is the... Uh, inside switch the tight end corner uh, or you could also use the X spot uh, but I personally think that the tight end corner is the best out of the three uh, but you could use any of those plays for these basic concepts we're going to be talking about today alright guys so what you want to do with this play is you want to take your running back and place him on a wheel pattern you then want to take your far left receiver place him on a drag you want to take your triangle receiver here Tavon Austin and you can put him on a streak if there's no safety over the top. That's what I like to do. Since there's a safety over the top here, I'm going to place him on a hitch route and I'm going to smart route it. If you can't place him on a hitch route and smart route it, then you could just place him on a curl. All right, guys. Uh, now the only thing that left you have to do is motion snap the far left wide receiver three steps to the outside. All right, and you're going to do that by hitting circle, scrolling over to his icon, and then flicking that uh, left D-pad to the left. And now you see he's going to motion at three steps, you're going to snap the ball. And you see that's a pretty effective way to beat man-to-man -man defense. We've been doing that all season long, probably more since last year anyway. Now the next read on this play is going to be Tavon Austin. As you see, this hitch trap becomes unbumpable, gets really good release, and does a nice job at beating man-to-man -man defense. Now the cool part about this, guys, is when they try to press the bunch tight end, you see that they can only press the two receivers on the left and by doing these hot routes um, you see that we are now on press all across the board and our third read is now even more liable to be open because it's a wide receiver matched up on a tight end alright guys and then our final uh, two reads on this play is once we get uh, we're gonna just scan to the right now we scan to the uh, back all the way across the formation and you see we can hit that tight end on that corner out uh, that route's actually becoming more and more uh, inconsistent as the year goes on. That's why I like to read the left side first. Um, and then you see here we can hit the running back outside of the backfield. Now the only thing about the running back outside of the backfield is I don't think that the running back wheel route works quite as good as uh, maybe an option route, but it does way better with the spacing. Here we're going to show you the option route. And you see it does work pretty good, but it, I don't know, guys. I mean, especially in zone, let me show you just a quick example of what I'm talking about. And this is more for more so for like that cover two sink guy uh, that wants to play zone. You'll see the running back's going to sit underneath, and you see that the drag route's going to run right into the running back. I don't really like that. That's why I put the running back on a wheel. But if you wanted to put the running back on an option route, guys, there I'm not here to tell you that you can't. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to beat man-to-man -man defense. Uh, as you see here, that option route does a nice job. I uh, ended up dropping the ball, but does a pretty nice job at getting some separation. All right, guys, so now I want to talk about the cover two sink uh, variation that they can run out of a two-man deep shell. And, uh, again, all the reads are the same. And you'll see that this first read is actually a really nice read against cover two uh, because of the spacing that we provide by the horizontal, or excuse me, the vertical stretches of our other two routes. Now you'll see uh, Tavon Austin's route actually is not quite as open against the cover two sink. Uh, here we'll just throw it blind and you see they kind of sit on it. Even though we got the catch there, that's really not something that we want to consistently throw against the cover two sink. It's more of a man only read. And uh, that's just part of the way beating zone works. Uh, here you see the crossing pattern is going to come underneath that zone. Obviously they could user control that, but if they user control his route, then they're not going to be able to cover that Andy Pettis route across the middle. And then finally, guys, our last couple of reads here is, uh, of course, to so our tight end. You see that that corner route's really not going to be open, and uh, it, just because of the way the band plays this year. Uh, one of the things you could do, and this is just kind of a little advanced nugget, and I don't even know if this is going to work, but you could pass lead that up and basically try to try to make it into a streak. Here we pass lead it up, and you see it's a little bit better, but it's still not something that we want to consistently throw against that kind of defense. So that's why I recommend just being using that uh, 
corner route is kind of like a man read. Here you see the wheel route will get your guy in space against a cornerback. Uh, depending on your running back, guys, it's actually a pretty good matchup. Uh, but that's our uh, shotgun bunch tight end breakdown, guys. I just wanted to quickly cover how you beat man, how you beat cover two zone from it. And if there's anything else that you guys need from the shotgun bunch tight end that I was maybe unclear about in this video, uh, if you could just leave me a message on Twitter, at MadtIps365, I'd greatly appreciate it. And also, guys, I just wanted to quickly encourage you uh, to go check out my Facebook page uh, because that's where gonna, I'm going to be releasing all of my content. It's going to be basically like my website for the next uh, couple of months. And... Uh, I really think that you guys will enjoy some of the content that I'm going to have coming out on the Facebook page. So check out the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash madtips365. Thank you so much for your time today, guys. I hope you appreciated this video, and I appreciated the opportunity to bring it to you.